Yeah, well, this is the thing, Dr. Drew. When we analyze these cases, I can't see it from my perspective, and you can't see it from your perspective. We have to switch off and see it from the other person's perspective. We have to think like that individual thinks, and that's where we're going to figure out what's going on. There's just too much circumstantial no evidence here that's pointing in this direction, the culpable direction. I mean, the premeditated culpable. Yeah. Premeditated culpable. Pre correct. And just and I do agree with the other guests that just because somebody's a sex addict, that can't basically be used as a reason to say this is why this individual Wait, did, why it, would did you, it. Why would you? Why would you guys think? I mean, think... let's be real. Let's be real. But here. there's so many people out there. You slept with a hundred people that day. I don't care if you were having sex with somebody, one of your coworkers in the bathroom. I don't care if you and your wife haven't been able to get along together for the last twenty years. I don't care if you hate your job. I don't care if if you almost hit somebody on your way to work. None of that matters. What does that have to do with the fact that he? murdered his child potentially no. we have to get he real we have to stop making life. excuses sam and yeah, he no, took I'm... it and he had options he could have given that child up for adoption he could have taken that child to a fire department he could have called defects if well, he wanted a child free life and we cannot let him nor his wife off the hook yeah, the way that we are I'm, doing i'm on your team spirit i'm cheering you on pun intended <laughs> but no i think the reason why they chose not to drop the child off to the fire station or put it up for adoption was because of the fact that they they're also in financial straits, and they wanted to cash in on this life insurance policy. They're not it's, getting the money anyway. Did he? Thank did God, he, but they. What Mom planet is. did he live on? I'm, on what planet do I he know, live on? Do you think they will ever see a dime of that? Of course small, not. I'm meager just, twenty-seven thousand right. dollars. They'll no, never see it. They're, who, who is the rational person in this in this family? They're, they're not. They're not there aren't saying, any. Yeah, but you guys are Not jumping one. all over the place. Where they're they're irrational, but they suddenly became irrational. What rendered them irrational? Are they, what rendered them irrational? If we'd used the word "stuck in alcohol" as opposed to sex, people would go, "Oh, oh, I get it. Their their brain wasn't working I right." I still wouldn't well, get it. It still it, would, not be, it would not, not be an excuse. It would not be an excuse. Alcohol is not It's not an excuse. We have got to distinguish between excuses and a way of understanding what a right. condemnation. This is a condemnation of behavior that should have been handled years before. I've got on the phone an exclusive guest. His name is John Pearson. He is the former classmate of Leanna Harris. John, you knew Leanna in high school. Uh, can you describe what she was like uh, back then? Um, the Leanna I remember and the Leanna I knew, um, obviously 16 years ago at this point, uh, was a very shy, very quiet, um, very keep to herself type of uh, person. Um, there was never any issues with uh, Leanna nor myself. I actually got along with Leanna very well. Um, coming from small town Alabama, uh, growing up in a you know Christian academy um, area where you know the high school was literally a K through 12 of 300 people. Um, you, know, you know there was about 12 to 13 people tops in your class. Wow. So I mean when we we got along very well. Um, more of us were like family together in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of us have stayed in touch throughout the years. John, um, and, and I'm going to interrupt you. Day. John, I want to interrupt you and say that that a lot of what people are wondering about is the seeming lack of emotion that they're seeing in the courtroom. Do you do you make anything of that? Um, honestly, no, um, I, I don't. To be honest with you, sir, uh, the Leanna I knew was not always an emotional person. Um, so to say that you know her being able to maybe hide emotion at this point or not show emotion could be the case or it could be just one of them things where you know maybe maybe there's more to it 